All right, today's project, add a second battery so I can run accessories. I'm gonna attach it to the other battery later, but for now I'm just gonna run it independently. It's a fucking uh, marine battery, so. The reserve power should be pretty decent. I could always just charge it up, just attempt fix. I'm gonna test out how much reserve power it has later, but I'm gonna use it to run my TV that I'm gonna install after this and uh, run a power inverter. I was gonna install my battery box right here, but it's in the way of the bed. So I'm just gonna put it right here. You wanna see a fucking shocker? Look at this shit. What the fuck is it? Made in the USA. Can you see that? Where the fuck are you? Right there. Made in the USA. Holy shit, what a shocker. I feel good now. I feel like I'm supporting the economy now. Like, holy crap, what's made in America now? Uh, and it was only eight bucks. So fuck, you could still make things in the United States and they're still affordable. Eight dollars for a battery box made in America. I think that's swell. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is, one second. Gonna drill these in and then strap it down with this strap here. Pretty simple. Okay, this is what you call improving the original design. The fucking strap broke, so I just drilled this shit in. There you go. Just bolted this shit in. Where the fuck's the strap at? Yeah, I was uh, strapping down the battery, but I already fucking broke it, man. Look at this shit. Right there. Snapped it. So yeah, fuck that. Bolt this shit in. All right, here's my power inverter, and there's a battery right there, so I'm running this directly off a of battery. Eventually, I'll run a true dual battery system, like attach it to the alternator and run duals. But for now, I'm just going to run it like this. Dual battery conversions cost a lot of money. So I'm going to see how much this inverter could actually power and how long it could actually last. So it's a 410 watts. If you plug it straight to the cigarette lighter, it's only 100, like 110, I think. On a battery, it's a 410. So see how how long this could power accessories just running off a of marine battery. Okay, I'm all set here. Power inverter, battery in a battery box. Once I get my DVD player hooked up. I'll find out how much power the battery really has without being attached to the alternator. Let's see how much charge this thing has. I, I plugged in my drill. Plugged into the power inverter. Here's a fucking sound bit. Sound deadening got caught up on the drill. But there you go. Now I have a separate power source not connected to the engine. Okay, I have no idea how long the battery was sitting in the store, so I went ahead and charged it up right there. I mean, it actually took like eight hours to charge this thing up, so you know who knows how much capacity it had left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge the, um, plug the inverter back in and run an Xbox and TV and see how long I could run an Xbox and a TV off a battery with the inverter. It's going to be like a capacity test. Okay, I have my monitor plugged in and my Xbox running off the inverter and battery. It's 429 right now. Just plugged it in right now. This is why I don't text anymore. This is my phone right now. I can't see when you guys text me, so that's why I don't text anymore. Uh, my phone still accepts phone calls, but I'm economical, man. If I don't need a new phone, I'm not going to buy one, so I'm going to keep this till it fucking dies. So, 4.30, I just plug these in right now, running straight off the battery. So, this is going to be a test to see how much capacity the battery has. So, I'm going to get my lunch. I'm going to eat, then I'll check this again in an hour, see if it's still on it after an hour. 
Okay, it's 1026. Everything's still plugged in. My Xbox is charging my phone. I decided to plug in my GPS, charge this. Monitor's still on. Six hours later, still have power. So six hours, that's uh, Los Angeles to Las Vegas. Or I could go to the desert and come back and still have juice if I'm running a Xbox. I don't know why I would run an Xbox while I'm driving and out in the desert. But you know the options there. I got it mainly just to have just to have power outlets. Who knows what you need them for? Uh, desert's really cold in the winter time. Like at nighttime when I leave the desert, it's usually like 30 degrees. So I got this little heater. So I'm gonna test out the heater next. I'm gonna charge this battery up when I get home uh, tomorrow I'll try this heater out you know it takes a while for the engine to warm up when it's 30 degrees so I could just run this heater while I'm stationary without draining the main battery at Walmart right now holidays are dying down so the line wasn't too bad had to pick up some supplies so yeah cool man not bad six hours who knows how much longer it would have ran but at least six hours that's pretty good so test this out I mean if I could get six hours of heat that would be great man six hours of heat stationary out in the desert when it's cold you know it's a it's a van so the heater should heat it up pretty quick I don't have to warm the engine up so there you go that's today's test now I have a second battery and a power inverter 410, 410 watts, like I think it's 900 max, 410 continuous. I'll probably get a bigger inverter now. Now that I know this uh, marine battery is pretty damn good, has some pretty good capacity.